All right, this problem says, Mr. Krabs created a secret ingredient for a breath mint that he thinks will cure the bad breath people get from eating Krabby Patties at the Krusty Krab. He asked 100 customers with a history of bad breath to try his new breath mint. He had 50 customers, which we're going to call Group A, eat a breath mint after they'd finished eating a Krabby Patty. The other 50, Group B, also received a breath mint after they finished the sandwich. However, it was just a regular breath mint and did not have the secret ingredient. Both groups were told that they were getting the breath mint that would cure their bad breath. Two hours after eating the Krabby Patties, 28 customers in Group A and 11 customers in Group B reported having better breath than they normally had after eating Krabby Patties. So our first question is, which group, Group A or B, are the control group in this experiment? So let's remember what a control group is. A control group is um, a, a, a set of the experiment that's not getting the thing you're testing. Um, and it's kind of like the normal conditions for an experiment. So in this case, the thing he's trying to test is this secret ingredient. So what group is not getting the secret ingredient? Let's see. Group A had a breath mint. Group B had a breath mint, but it was just a regular breath mint, did not have the secret ingredient. So that means group B is our control group because they didn't get the secret ingredient. What is the independent variable? All right. Um, and we're also going to look for de dependent variable too. So we might as well use that uh, sentence in our science toolbox. Um, how does blank affect blank? And remember, this is our IV and this is our DV. So if I wanted to summarize this whole problem and make it fit into the sentence, I might say, how does this breath mint that we're testing affect people's bad breath? Or the, yeah, their bad breath. So, my independent variable then is going to be the secret ingredient. And my dependent variable is, um, I guess, their reports of bad breath or just their bad breath. And that makes sense up here again, too, with control. If the control, uh, the uh, independent variable is the secret ingredient, the group that doesn't get the secret ingredient is our control group. Okay. If you were Mr. Krabs, what would your conclusion be and why? So this is kind of like a, a CER. So we're going to do a claim evidence reasoning here. Um, let's look at the actual results. So right here at the end, so we have group... Uh, a, 28 people said it helped. So group B, 11 people said it helped. So a conclusion I might want to make might say that uh, the, I'm going to put SI for secret ingredient, worked because uh, group A had more people say that their breath was better. And this is a CER. My, my claim was that group A, group A was better, so the secret ingredient worked. My evidence was that group A had more people, and then so altogether, the reasoning the secret ingredient worked because group A had more people say that their breath uh, was better. So combining all that gives me my reasoning. Now this one is a little um, strange, and I, I like that they put this in here. Why do you think 11 people in group B reported fresher breath? So notice, B didn't have that secret ingredient, but people still claimed that their breath was better. So this is what's known as the placebo effect, P-L-A-C-E-B-O. Basically, you, you can trick yourself into thinking you're better at, um, with something when you, when you don't get any actual medication for it. You just, you just kind of trick your body into thinking that. 
So these 11 people here, they didn't know that they weren't getting that secret ingredient. So they're thinking, hey, my breath is going to be better once I eat this. And then so in the end, they end up reporting that I think they think their breath is a little bit better, even though it might not be. So that's why, like these people are kind of, they, they're in a way lying, but they're lying to themselves. And they're tricking themselves into thinking that. Okay.